All right, check it out. Well, I finally got myself one of these Zygu G90s. I'm setting this up in my office as an auxiliary radio. I have my ham shack is set up out in the backyard in a big old shed. Um, it's all solar power and battery backup and all that stuff. Got my um, fold over 30 foot antenna mast I'm working on constructing to replace my wire antenna. My wire antenna, I'm going to remount and run it into the office here, which normally is not my radio station, but I have a real nice computer in here. So what I was going to do with the G90 is run some digital modes. And I was going to do an unboxing video, but I figured why even bother? There's a hundred out there already. You know, you've seen what it comes with microphone cables, you know, got your FTDI cable, um, power cable, all that kind of stuff. I already ran the power cable and I came up with a neat hack to keep this thing cool. And I was reading all about this thing before I ordered it, um, you know, because that's what we do as radio people, right? We we research for three months before we spend the money on a new radio. Um, what I kept reading was about how hot these things get. And they have that little bracket with the fan built in to keep it cool. And I thought, well, that's cool. You know, and it's it's a slick little, you know, setup with the little jumper wire that you can plug into the radio and power poles in it and all that kind of stuff. So it's a slick setup, but it's like, you know, I wanted to spend the money on the digital interface. I ended up getting a um, DigiRig interface for this thing, which I'm going to probably do a separate video on setting that all up and getting it going. But what I wanted to show today was a basically free little hack I figured out to keep this thing cool so I don't have to, at least for now, spend the money on that little cooling mat or bracket thing. What I got here is this old laptop stand with the fan built in. I had this thing kicking around. One of my previous laptops used to run real, real hot um, to the point where it would pop up little warnings on the screen. Well, so I got this to help keep it cool. I haven't used it for a few years, but we just moving into this new place and that's why I'm kind of rebuilding all my radio stuff and my new station out back. We were moving in here and I'm like, oh, well, I don't know where to put this thing. I don't really use it. So I just kind of tossed it in the office as we were unpacking. Um, and it kind of found a little home under my desk here, kind of wedged up against the side of the desk. And I was looking at the bracket for the Zygu, you know, radio to keep it cool, the little fan bracket. And I was like, you know, I got something kind of like that. I wonder if it would work. So this little, it's a, you can see it's a Belkin brand. It's basically just a little computer laptop stand. It's got little legs on the back of it. And it's got just a USB connection on it. So when you lay your laptop on it, you plug the little USB jumper into the laptop and it powers the fan. Cool. Well, you're not having a USB output from the radio, um, not USB-A anyways. I had this little guy from a previous um, project. It's like a little add-on, you know, USB, dual USB uh, charging port thing, USB-A. I'm pretty sure that one's called. I was like, well, I'll just run that to my power supply as well as run the, the radio wire to the power supply. So we are just unboxing this. I already got the power supply all wired up. Um, so I'm just about to plug this radio in for the first time, and we will give a demonstration of my cheesy yet free cooling hack. So hang tight. All right, so I don't have any good place to stick my phone while I do this. I'll try to do it one-handed here. Get that power plugged in there. And then slide this back. I try not to pinch the wires back there. There we go. So As you can see, I'll try to pull it forward just a little bit here. It fits pretty well on there. Not perfect, but what I do want to do is make sure that it's centered over the fan there. I think what would be best is if I find some way to kind of prop it up 
a little bit in the front since the front is laying flat on this little pad. This is like a little non-slip pad. It's got those on the front and the back. And I'll probably figure out how to accomplish that. But in the meantime, I got the power plugged in. I do not have any antenna plugged in. So I'm just going to power this thing up just to see how the airflow works. Uh, make sure the radio powers up and whatnot. So power supply down here. Let's flip that on. And that little jumper I got there has a voltage display. So that's kind of cool. You can hear the fan running. And it's, it's definitely going. And it is much like the, the Zygu little fan bracket. It, it's blowing air down, not up, right? So it's drawing air up through here rather than blowing air at the radio. It's drawing air past it. So you can feel the air around the bottom of it blowing out down here. So that's pretty slick. So again, I have no antenna. I'm, I got to do some rearranging and I threw my wire antenna up in the back just so I could play around radio while we were moving in. We bought this place maybe, you know, a couple months ago and radio has not been the highest priority. But as I start to rebuild my station at my new place here, I'm going to do some more videos on, on my radio setup and hopefully entertain you guys and give you some uh, good reasons to laugh at my stupidity. There's a lot of it to go around. So we'll shove that back there a little bit. Uh, I might try to find a better mounting solution for the little jumper there. It does have an extra USB on it as well. It's kind of a kind of a neat little, little guy right there. Easy way to monitor my, my voltage as well without having to flip through any menus or anything like that. So let's see. Alright, well, let me go ahead and turn the volume all the way down since I have no antenna anyways, but there you have it. First startup on the Zygu. And again, this is in my office here. Um, essentially, what I'm trying to accomplish here is having just a little auxiliary radio station, something with a very small footprint. I've got a very small power supply underneath the bottom shelf of the desk here. Um, very small radio. I'm essentially only going to run, I shouldn't say only, but mainly going to run digital modes in here. Um, when the, when the weather is poor, you know, I don't want to go out to my remote ham shack that is not heated or cooled or anything. It's basically a really big tool shed out back that I've kind of taken over part of, um, my, my main station is all solar powered and battery backup and everything. And that's the way it was before. And that's kind of how I like it. Um, so no no electricity back there everything's run off uh, 12 volt you know sources and charged by solar panels and if my little cheesy inverter out there is making noise i'll just turn it off and i have more than enough bat battery juice to last probably a few weeks so uh, but nonetheless hopefully that's a cool little hack for you guys if you have one of these little cooling mats laying around for your laptop you know throw your radio on there if you don't want to spend 60 bucks on the uh on the Zygu bracket. Now the Zygu bracket is a nice solution. I might put that on my Christmas list or my birthday wish list or something like that. But in the meantime, you know, this thing was free. Just draw some air through it. You know, even even the computer fan. I've seen plenty of those setups. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna get back to uh, entertaining myself since that's what I do best. And hopefully this was some entertainment value to you as well. So, whiskey six seven three.